At 17 years, Ampuride Kuhumuza can barely do anything by himself. He can never sit, stand, walk, nor even speak. Kuhumuza has been in this condition for four years now. His mother, Edith Mbabazi, has bore the brunt of having to treat her only child like a baby. This is a picture of Kuhumuza in 2011, months before he started ailing. By then, a senior one student, he started falling sick. The condition that started with a simple headache and stomach ache would later worsen, making Kuhumuza vomit whatever he eats and wasting away. Kuhumuza's mother, who is a nursing assistant at Buziwera Health Center 4, was fast to act. She had him checked and given treatment, but his condition only worsened. We checked complete blood account and hepatitis. So we failed to get the diagnosis. We referred to her to Mbarara. Baka mchevero munda, barebe chiruku mutana siya ba mwurka yu munda. Ba shangevye kuriyane vizayo, kongechi kubia yetu baku jiravata, te baku chuma nya stiri na wea gumiza muna na wata dripu. Several other tests, including HIV, hepatitis B and CT scans, were carried out on Kuhumuza at Mbarara Hospital but none was positive. At Mara Hospital, doctors diagnosed Kuhumuza with slow peristalsis, a condition that occurs when the nerves that help in proper digestion are dysfunctional. So these nerves receive the signals, and then when they fire, they, there is that contraction of the muscles and the food moves forward. Now, if the food doesn't flow at that rate, that means the nerves don't fire that fast then the food is going to flow at a slower rate. But unfortunately, the food which remained in the stomach hasn't gone forward for digestion in the intestines. And so you end up uh, vomiting that food. This condition, according to Dr. Nelson Nakwagala, a senior endocrinologist at Mulago Hospital, is either genetic or acquired, like in the case of Kuhumuza. Mbara Hospital referred Kuhumuza to Mulago Referral Hospital for further examination, where doctors recommended a feeding tube to be inserted in the boy's stomach while they examine him. private. <laughs> Since September last year, Mbabazi decided to return her son home and only feed him to be able to see the next day. Immediately. Such is the agony and trauma that a mother has to go through every single day just to see her son survive. Mbabazi's hope lies in seeing her child being restored to good health, but with little success so far. We put her eye line to support the child because the child is so weak. Sometimes he cannot, he gets some sickness, he fails to eat. Mbarazi says she is overwhelmed by the cost of buying food for her son, who feeds almost six times a day. Kuhumuza is Mbarazi's only son. His predicament over the years has puzzled his mother. Doctors at Mulago have recommended further investigations to be able to save Kuhumuza's life, but the widow believes there is a glimmer of hope if good Samaritans find his treatment. Gertrude Tumusime with Kware, NTV.